Did you know October is Selective Mutism Awareness Month? The Ealing Speech and Language Therapy team want to tell you more about Selective Mutism so you can help your students in school. Selective Mutism, sometimes called Situational Mutism, is an anxiety disorder. People with Selective Mutism have a phobia of talking in some situations. For example, they may be able to talk in the playground but not in the classroom. They might be able to talk at home but not at school. Sometimes children and young people with selective mutism manage to answer questions verbally using single words or short phrases, but this is not comfortable and is still classed as selective mutism. It just makes it harder to spot. Here are some useful facts about selective mutism. Selective mutism is not a choice. It is an anxiety disorder which affects communication in some situations. Selective mutism is more common amongst girls and among children who speak more than one language. Selective mutism affects about one in every 140 young children and can co-occur with other speech and language as well as sensory needs. There is no single cause, but there can be a range of factors making someone more likely to develop selective mutism. There is no evidence to suggest that children with selective mutism are more likely to have experienced abuse, neglect or trauma than any other child. Speech and language therapists and teaching staff work together to help children with selective mutism feel more confident communicating. Here are some tips for teaching staff to help anyone with selective mutism so they are less anxious, so they are more able to communicate. Use comments and rhetorical questions. Here are two examples. Wow, those drawings are really good. I wonder what colour you're going to use there. Or, oh, I made those a bit too big, didn't I? Wait for the child or young person to feel more comfortable before asking them yes and no questions and then later on more open-ended questions. Avoid pressuring or bribing the child or young person to talk or make eye contact. accept any and all ways the child or young person uses to communicate. For example, nodding, pointing, drawing or writing. It is okay if the child or young person wants to communicate through someone else, like a parent or a friend. Avoid asking the child or young person why they don't speak. Avoid making comments such as use your words. It is often not helpful to draw attention to a child and young person as this can make them feel really uncomfortable and increase anxiety. But it's okay to ask them if they want to join in and make sure they feel part of the class. Talk to parents or carers to find out what the child or young person thinks about school and ask what you can do to help them feel less anxious in the classroom. Here are some views from Ealing students with SN. A study called Teens Who Now Talk collected views from 60 students with SN. This is what they said. If you want to know more about selective mutism, please visit the Smira website on screen now. If you work in an Ealing school, you can email us to find out about free training for staff and parents at ealingslt.training at nhs.net.
Thanks for watching.